Hello and welcome back to another Dragon's Dogma 2 quest guide. In this video I'm going over a quest called Saints of the Slums, which you start when in the slums area of Vernworth. The quest is one of those that doesn't really tell you where to go or what to do, but I will go over each of the steps. Let's take a look. To start the quest, you will first need to witness a short scene occur in the slums in front of the Gracious Hand building. Two people will be arguing with one of the sisters, after which they leave. If the quest doesn't show for you, keep playing the main story until it does. And after the argument, you can speak with the woman and agree to help her, and this will start the quest. Elena asks you to find three miasmite to make some medicine. If you've not done any exploration at night yet, then miasmite is a unique material that is dropped by phantom enemies that appear only at night. Head just outside the gates of Wernworth, and you should eventually find these greenish clouds that float around, and they are the phantoms. Simply kill them until you have three miasmite, and then you can take those and return them to Lady Elena. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Once you've done this, this will start the next part of the quest, which is taking a tour of the building. Inside you speak with a sick man called Lubomir, and he asks you to investigate the Gracious Hand. This young man is Lubomir. Imagining things. Pray. After you're done talking with him, you can go outside and you will speak to a woman called Lottie. After your conversation with her, you can then head back inside and speak with Lubomir, and you can agree to further investigate. You now need to find any evidence of wrongdoing. You can enter the basement using the stairs to the left, but you must come here at night or else the door will be locked. Head into the sick area and behind a curtain is a bunch of stuff to pick up and some evidence of what's been going on. When you pick up the medical records off the bookshelf, it points you towards the slums tavern, so head there next and speak with the two patients. One of the patients will tell you of a meeting place with Lady Elena and some mysterious person, and so you should head there, it's already marked on the map for you, and then when you get there, there is a cutscene. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. After the cutscene, head back and speak with Lubomir and show him the evidence you found in the basement and he will mention a previous doctor who can be found in Checkpoint Rest Town. Do you think... Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the Rest Town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I'm... So head all the way to Checkpoint Rest Town to speak with the doctor. Once you arrive here, give him the medicine and you have to wait a couple of days in game and return to him to find out the information about it and he will mention that the medicine is very poisonous. You've come at a good time. I've just finished running those tests. I must ask, where did you acquire that to be plain? Is more poison than physic. It has the From Checkpoint Rest Town, you have to head all the way back to Vernworth to speak with Lubomir. As you enter the building, a nurse will mention Lubomir has been moved to the basement and you have to head down to find Elena. And what you must do to complete the quest is simply jump on her and you will get arrested. And this will ultimately end this long and confusing quest line. What are you doing? Unhand me this instant. Many 
Many thanks for your assist. Suffice to say, your testimony, combined with the evidence you've procured, have cast a great deal of suspicion upon the abbess that she isn't like to shake. Pray have this. Guys, that is how to complete the Saint in the Slums quest. Like and subscribe for more Dragon Dogma 2 guides, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.